Hi there. Welcome to Ben's Astrophotography. Last time I challenged the iPolar with a 50% obstructed sky, including the Polaris. And I found the virtual North Pole is kind of jumpy. And then I ended up with a 3.9 arc mean of uh, polar alignment error. People told me anything below 10 arc mean is good enough. But I still think that error kind of caused the oval stars in my 5 minute subs. So tonight I will try to do a better polar alignment with no obstruction in my polar scope. Let's see how far it can go uh, to reduce my polar alignment error. And then I will try 5 minutes unguided exposures, see how it goes. Here you see iPolar. Uh, the cross is there and the virtual North Pole is al also shown. And I try to move it closer and then it starts to uh, magnify. What I found, because I want to do a better polar alignment, I need to fasten the bolts. There are six bolts on the mount that, that I need to fasten. Okay, and Then when I do the fastening, you can see that the actually it moves the mount a little bit especially those vertical bolts when i fasten it i can see clear movement that the virtual north pole moves a little bit upward and uh, to the left too and to deal with that i put the dot a little bit in down and to the right so that when i fasten it it will go right on the cross i did spend a good couple minutes to make it right and make sure that it ends up right on the bullseye. I believe you can see the difference between this time and last time. Last time the virtual North Pole, the red disc, is very jumpy and tonight it's very very stable and I can tell it moves only when I move the mount. Once I've done with the polar alignment, I use the SGP to go to my target that's M101. Then I started PhD2, did calibration and started the guiding assistant. I will fast forward so that you can see the result right away. Look at here. The polar alignment error is 0.0, .0 arc mean after 327 seconds. If you look at the curves, the DEC curve is almost horizontal. It doesn't go north or south. So that shows obviously we have a very good polar alignment. And now I will go to SGP and start my exposures. Tonight, since I'm happy with the polar alignment and I'm really confident, and to be honest with you, the DEC coordinate of Messi 101 is over 50 degrees in the north. I'm pretty confident that it will have a good result on five minutes. So I'm starting with 5 minutes and 10 exposures and see how good it is. Of course, as promised, I turned off the guiding. As you can see at the top right corner, the PhD2 is not working. My first sub is very good. So I will continue with the same exposures. I will fast forward. After 10 exposures, the image history chart shows a very stable HFR reading around 2.8, which means the mount has worked perfectly for over one hour. And wow, this is a really a good news to me. Okay, that's it for this short video. And I'm ending it with the stacked picture of Messi 101. Hope you like it.